the brewing room. They still had that room. We'll see here. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're going to do a little walking tour here of downtown Hayward California but it's gonna be like a point of view kind of thing I guess um, I'm wearing the uh, new meta Ray-Ban sunglasses that is capable of taking pictures and video got it as a Father's Day present from the wife and the kiddos thanks to them they know I'm a gadget kind of guy so we're gonna walk around downtown Hayward and um, test them out and see uh, what's going on so, I am filming this on my iPhone, filming me, filming you on these glasses. See the glasses? Kind of stealthy, but then you got that white blink and light. But I think in broad daylight, it's probably a lot less evident. But if you're in dim lighting, I'm sure you could totally see that this thing's blinking for some reason. But so far, these glasses are cool. I mean, they're, they're uh, you know, the polarized, everything. I mean, it keeps all the rays out. Like I said, they are legit Ray-Ban sunglasses, but they are, uh, they've partnered with Meta and to bring these um, video camera still picture uh, taken glasses um, to you guys. Alrighty then, let's park the car here in the garage so when I come back the car will be nice and cool. Let's walk around a little bit, test these glasses, um, you know, good old Hayward, California here. I know I'm going to have to be uh, very mindful how fast I move my head when I'm filming because when you move your head, like, just to look at something, you know, it seems like the whole thing moves really quickly. So i got to be mindful, slow my head down a little bit, and um, when I'm looking around at stuff. All right. Let's see here what we could see. It's about 86 degrees today, 87 roughly. Beautiful day. It's a good day to do a little walk. Now I could probably pick a bunch of other cities to do a, a walking tour in, but eh, it's close to home. Wanted to test these glasses out and all that good stuff. So Eden Jewelry, that's an old business that's been there forever. It's like a pawn shop kind of place. Last time I checked. Uh, that place is closed. I'm not sure what that is. Dress shop. We've got a barber shop here. Stat cuts. Oh, the Stein Lounge. That's been here for a minute. And right here, the Pizza House. It's closed right now. Maybe I think they're only open for dinner, but this is some good late night eats if you're hungry. They're open till like two in the morning, last time I checked, and this was some good late night eats. Now at night they they tend to get busy, 
So sometimes you're waiting for your food for a minute, but it's really good. Let me see if I can get an outside shot of the uh, sign here. <laughs> Record store, another record store. B Street Studios. Was that the name? Closed. <laughs> Closed again. Centennial Bank, founded November 5th, 1976. It's a historic site. Community owned banking. Interesting. Caught the light just right here. Good, good, good. This is a bistro, espresso, live music, microbrewers on tap, and wine. Huh. Another probably evening haunt that's only open in the evenings, dinner time into late night. Max's Cakes. It's a bakery. Oh, okay. Interesting. A lot of closed Mondays these businesses do. We've got wine tasting, the wine time, winery tasting room. Interesting. A nail salon. There's some pretty good food down here on this street. Pizza House, Buffalo Bills. I always like Buffalo Bills because like I said, they brewed their own beers. So during the summertime, they would have special beers during the summer, you know, different times of year. Halloween time, Buffalo Bills always had uh, pumpkin ale. And from what I understand, the new management still does brew and you still can bring your, your, your jug back and they'll, that you, you either buy from them, I think, or you bring your own and They'll fill it for you for uh, for a fee with their uh, in-house brewed beers. I know off to the side in the building, there's a big uh, vat where they brew their beers, or a big room where they have a couple of vats. I wonder if they still have it. Maybe I'll walk up there around the side of it and um, see. Used to be able to see it through a glass window on the side of the building, the, the brewing room. But the person I talked to wasn't 100% positive they still brew there with the new guys owning this place, so I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, Rocket Char Grill. Uh, the Blue Crown Bistro. Bar and Bistro, okay. And Metro Taqueria. Ah. Uh. And then over here, we got the Regal Cinemas in here. I haven't seen a movie in here in ages. Let's go over to Buffalo. Interesting store. We got little, looks like collectible kind of stuff. Or they resell stuff or whatever, but. They got some old Coleman lanterns and stuff. Old camp stove. Yeah, they're antiques. Antique store, it says. Wow. Looks pretty cool. 
There's an old movie projector in that orange box. And one of those old school plug-in light up Santa Clauses. Really cool, but they're not open either. A lot of these independent businesses, I guess, run their own hours. Another closed business. Huh, this one's Vintage Finds, Nehemi Vintage Finds. It's all boarded up on one side. It's kind of hard to tell. There's no hours posted on some of these, so I'm not sure if they're closed for good or uh, or what. Bookstore. It's closed. Wow. I think this tent up ahead is a dispensary, I think. And another closed business. Wow, look at this one. Looks like they're gutting the inside and doing something. Yeah, it's a dispensary up here, I think. Yeah, we're on B Street here in Hayward. Yeah, they're doing something in here. Huh, interesting. It's a sushi place. Yeah, it's been quite a while since I've been down here. A lot of changes down here. A lot of businesses closed, a lot of new businesses opened. Leather Odyssey, that's yeah, that's closed. Uh, we got there. They have a sign. Tuesday to Saturday, eleven to six. And then Monday or other by appointment. Oh. By appointment, huh? Well. A record store closed closed Wednesday Thursday happy fourth old vintage vinyl records all this, those of us that are old enough we remember records and record players before the age of CDs we had cassette tapes and then we had records <laughs> yes I'm old enough to remember that and there's a music store over here instruments got drums and stuff and they're closed a lot of these businesses are closed monday down here wow I'm, i guess they take a long weekend or they open the week oh they're open saturday sunday so this place is only closed on mondays there's drums and stuff guitars up there wow Oh, I'm not sure. Yoga. It's a yoga place, I think. A dirty bird. This is like a bar or a lounge. I've been down here at night, and it's always open at night.
Oh, that's the newer stuff down there. We're gonna go back up the other side of B Street. So, directly across the street, we got Buffalo Bills Brewery. Uh, Buffalo Bills was always really good. Really good food, a really good uh, beer. They actually would brew their own beers as well. So, um, I know during the pandemic or shortly after they had closed, but from what I understand now, they're open under new management. So, I'm not sure if they're still brewing beers, but... Um, I gotta go in there sometime under the new management and find out. I know under the new, uh, the old management, it was always a really good place. And you could even, um, they would even bottle beer for you that they would brew. They would even bottle it up for you. You could buy a jug from them and you could bring it back and they could refill it for a, a little fee. That place was always really cool. Now we got a bank right here. Haven't been down here in quite a while. <laughs> Casa del Toro, I think they're closed. Or maybe they're just not open today. I don't know. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. Maybe they run different hours. store here interesting I don't think I've ever seen it before maybe I was wrong about that I used to see you, when you go to the I know inside the building when you go to the bathroom you'd walk by the the beer vats in there maybe there wasn't a window I could have swore there was a window where you could see it through see through so I don't know if that's legit like if I, my memory serves me correctly but I, I know from the inside when you go to the bathrooms you can see I always swore there was a window outside that um he could see through his tube, but maybe I was wrong. Maybe I, I, I dreamt it. But, um, yeah, that is beautiful. Uh, it's B Street, downtown Hayward here. A lot of, uh, still a lot of, uh, a few good places to eat, drink, and all that. So, thank you so much for uh, joining me on this adventure for this test of these glasses. You guys are the best. Let me know in the comments how you thought it came out. Was I moving my head too fast in some parts? I tried to be mindful of that. But let me know, guys. And share this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And we'll maybe do another walking tour in another city sometime soon. Peace out.